Hey y'all, happy new year. Now normally I do videos about the story behind my original songs, but today I wanted to tell you about my experience auditioning for The Voice. So if you've ever wanted to audition for a reality singing competition, or just wondered what the whole experience is like, stay tuned because I've got all the answers and tips. So, People automatically think that if you're going to audition for a reality singing competition like The Voice or American Idol or America's Got Talent, you just go in front of the celebrity judges. That's not how it happens. First, you have to create an artist profile on their website. So I went to NBCTheVoice.com and created an artist profile. From there, they sent me an email where they would have all of the open call auditions. Open call audition is an audition where anyone who wants to come gets to come and audition. So they said to prepare two songs for the audition. And I decided to do My Church by Marin Morris and American Honey by Lady Annabella. So I was here I was preparing those two songs and I was really excited to go and do this. So I went to New York City and stood in line outside for 45 minutes because the line was that long. Finally got inside and had to stand in another line to go through security. Once I got through that line, I finally went to another line and stood there for about another 20 minutes um, to get registered. So overall, standing in line, it was about an hour and a half of standing in line. There are lots of people who want to audition. So I got my wristband and I got registered and was told to sit in the seats. Um, there were probably about 800 people auditioning. So I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, after about two hours of sitting in the seats, I was called to go stand in a line with 10 other people. Well, we finally walked up to the audition room and had to sit outside and wait for a moment. And this is where we were told that we would be singing in front of two producers, not celebrity judges like everyone thinks, and we would give 30 seconds to sing one of our pieces. So we walked into the room, all 10 of us, and the producers were so nice. Every single person who worked there at the audition so kind and very encouraging and he said you each get 30 seconds to audition and we will pick one person to get a call back so all 10 of us auditioned and the producer picked one person and she did a great job I mean she really really did once they said that this person got their call back everyone else left so I was in New York for about five hours um, waiting and waiting to audition for 30 seconds. It was an experience, I will tell you that. Now, to finish up the audition process, I didn't move on to the next round to get a call back, but that's okay. Here's what happens next. If you do receive a call back, you get a red card and you have to come back to the same audition city a couple days later and you get to prepare three songs. And from there, they'll decide if you get to move on. If you do, I believe you get to go to LA and that's when you audition in front of the four celebrity judges. And if they choose you, you're on the show. If they don't, you go home. So that was my experience auditioning for The Voice. If you feel like you wanna do it, go ahead, do it. I ironically don't even watch The Voice or American Idol for that matter. I auditioned because everyone always told me I should. So I figured, hey, let's check it off my bucket list. Be encouraged no matter what happens. Your worth is not in a yes or a no from producers or judges. Your worth is in who you are as a person. So thanks for watching. I hope it helped. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah Nicole Musician, like my Facebook page, Sarah Nicole Musician, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sarah Nicole Musician. Have a great day.